We have a lot of questions coming in about this six and a half slow fall ledge hog spoon. So today I'm gonna tell you what we use it for and what we recommend that you do with a six and a half slow fall flutter spoon. This is a little bit different than most other ones on the market. You'll see that it's a lot thinner and it's gonna weigh 1.2 ounces where a typical spoon this size is gonna be closer to two ounces or a little over. There's a reason for that, and what we're doing with this spoon is we're taking it and tying onto our swivel right here and pitching this spoon at marinas, boat docks, uh, where there is standing structure, but deep water underneath a lot of times, and you'll see it on the tours, those guys, those pros that go out there on the weekend trying to get big fish for big money are taking a spoon and throwing it at boat docks. And it's something different that the bass don't see. It gets a reaction strike from a fish that's sitting there waiting for bait fish to come out and it can be very effective on a lot of different lakes it's not been done on a lot of different lakes yet so you're kind of getting in on a pioneering aspect where where the fish aren't conditioned to seeing it very much which will help you increase your chance of getting those big fish we put a one ot hook on the bottom that's again a must add triple grip kbd hook we use a heavy duty 19 pound swivel and the retrieve on this is a little bit different than the other retrieves. A lot of times we're really just pitching this thing out and letting it fall. We're not making that long cast that we do with our other spoons and that's why we have other spoons. There's two different ways we do this as far as rod and reel setup. One that's a little bit different and most people aren't doing is you take a heavy duty spinning rod setup with a medium heavy or a heavy spinning rod and a spinning reel because of the light weight of this, it won't backlash your reel. It's real hard to set one of these up for a long cast because of their light weight. They're gonna wanna kite in the air, and when they kite, it's gonna want to cause your reel to backlash. So again, this one's a little bit different. It's a little bit different technique, but it's very, very effective. These come in a lot of different colors. We do them in all the same colors that we do the ledge hog powder paint. You can actually get a spoon now in ghost slime. You can get a spoon in perpetrator. And as we've found out over the past few years, Ghost Slime and Perpetrator are very effective on these schooling fish.